Hi, I'm Dr. Romano. I'd like to go over a very tricky topic with you tonight that's going to be very important for the DAT, the OAK, and even the MCAT exam. What we're going to talk about is, and we've done this with our group here, um, but we're going to really drive it home, major nutritional modes. Okay, let's start off with the easiest of all first, the photoautotrophs. Well, photo means light, and when you think of photo, I think of photosynthesis, and autotrophs are like plants. So that gives you the first hint for the slam dunk, a photoautotroph would be a plant. Algae would be included there, and if you remember our friends, the cyanobacteria. So these three, you wanna be on the lookout of photoautotrophs. Light is the energy source, as you know, sunlight, for example. Organic compounds, such as glucose, are made from CO2, or compounds such as bicarbonate. So we want to make sure we understand it. So you're using, you're using CO2 or bicarbonate and you're making organic compounds. That's going to be a photoautotroph. That's straightforward. The one that's a little trickier, I think, is, and you got to be careful of this on the DAT exam, and the O is a chemoautotroph. What's a chemoautotroph? These organisms use compounds such as CO2, which is considered inorganic. Even though it's got carbon, we consider it inorganic because it doesn't undergo the usual organic reactions. So it uses compounds such as CO2, but instead of light as the energy source, they oxidize things like iron, manganese, hydrogen, H2S, and H3. Now, a good example, if you remember in the root nodules, we had something called what? Nitrifying bacteria. And what they did is they oxidized the ammonia. And we made nitrates and nitrites, which be used for the soil. So if we ever asked you nitrifying bacteria, how would you classify them? You would put them at under dangerous question, be careful. You may thank me someday for it. Methanogens, if you remembered, um, these guys came from the domain Archaea. Um, they would also be considered chemoautotrophs. Usually any extremophile. If you remember, these guys live in harsh environments, salty areas, they exist in oil, wells, and stuff like that, volcanoes. These would also be considered the chemoautotrophs. All right, that takes care of the photo and chemoautotrophs. Let's go to the next one. This is an easy one. Chemo heterotroph. Chemo reminds me of chemicals, and heterotrophs are us. So chemo heterotrophs are animals. Now, they consume organic molecules for energy, such as glucose. So that's a slam dunk. Most protists, fungi, many bacteria would be considered the chemo heterotrophs. That should be pretty straightforward. And then the one that's not so common, that I think is pretty rare, is what's called a photo heterotroph. Photo means light. So they're going to use light, but they obtain their carbon from organic compounds such as carbohydrates, alcohols, or fatty acids instead of CO2. Now, that's a little tricky. So you're going to remember, a good example would be the non-sulfur purple bacteria. And they're pretty rare and heliobacteria under, under photoheterotrophs. So there you have it. That saves a lot of reading. You make sure you know these. Any one of these is fair game. So from photoautotrophs, chemoautotrophs, chemoheterotrophs, and photoheterotrophs, not the easiest reading if you pick up any of the books, but if you can break it down like this and start off with the two simple ones, the photoautotrophs and the chemoheterotrophs, I think the rest of them would fall into place. All right, that's where I'm going to end it. In the next class, we have so I prepared some really good bio tapes coming up um, in a day or so. We're going to talk about gas gangrene, and we're going to talk some of the pathologies. Somebody asked on one of the um, forums about the pathologies and the diseases. If you want to know about the pathologies and the diseases, um, my bio notes and the destroyer has all you need. And then anything beyond that you'll do in grad school. All right, I hope this helps. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.